Hello my YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I borrowed my friend's Celine bag. So this is the Celine luggage in the nano size. And I'm going to do a what fits inside and also a comparison with my um, Chanel medium flap. So as you can see, like in size, although this is called nano, but it's still much lar larger than the medium size classic flap from Chanel. Um, and it's really spacious inside. And I think my friend got this from 2015. And right now it's retail price is like 2,700 US dollars. And by, you know, like carrying this bag, I feel like it's pretty light. Um, so although it's all leather, um, so you can see like inside out, it's all leather. On the side, I think this is sweet leather. And um, the inside and outside, I think this is like calf skin. Um, but it's really light, which I'm really surprised about because I've heard a lot of people complaining about how heavy their Celine bags are. So I guess like if you had to like choose like a size, maybe go for the nano size because it is pretty spacious and it's pretty light. So good for your shoulder. Um, and I'm using my Chanel Classic Flap for a comparison um, because this is in canvas. So it's also a pretty light bag. So if I were to, you know, compare, uh, compare this two, I would say like the Celine bag is even lighter than my Chanel because um, you can feel like the chain is pretty heavy. Um, I think this is a more of a vintage Chanel. So I think the chain that they use is more like, a, you know, like yellow gold. And so this metal part adds a lot of like, you know, weight to the bag. Versus for Celine, uh, you can see like they have a leather strap. Um, and then you can detach the strap from the bag quite easily. So if you don't want to carry the strap with you, you can simply, you know, like um, get rid of the strap and carry it with your hand. I think I'm trying to, you know, oh, you can also do that. Maybe in the summertime, you can, you know, carry it uh, using the crystal of your hand. Um, but it's kind of hard to get inside and out um, because maybe because I have larger hand. Anyways. Now let me put this strap back onto the bag. It's pretty easy. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate with a uh, bottle of water. Um, as you can see, if you want to like fit it straight up, it's pretty easy to fit um, the bottle of water inside of this nano bag. And if you want to put it like sideways, you can also fit it in quite easily. Um, I noticed they also have a zipper on the top of the bag. So let me show you guys. Um, and so if you want to have some extra security and stuff, and you don't want people to get into your bag so easily, you can definitely use the zipper and you know get that extra security here. But I would say like for me, I don't really see myself using the um you know the zipper. Um, versus for the Chanel medium flap, um, it has this like CC turn lock. So it's kind of, it's not as easy as the Celine bag for you to like put your stuff inside and outside, but this also like protect your like stuff, right? When, if you put some like really important stuff inside of your bag. Um, so besides this big compartment, um, it also has like a back pocket. So I guess if you have your, you know, um, ID and stuff, you can put it in the bag. Um, a lot of people call it like the smiling bag um, because like it looks like a smiling face or like a crying face. Like people have different like, you know, um, ways to like in uh, interpret this kind of like look of the bag. So in the mouse, like it has also like a small zipper. You can put maybe your coin or like maybe some you know, house key inside of this part, but I highly doubt any people will ever use it because you can easily drop everything like inside of this big compartment. And yeah, so that's it. Um, so that's my quick and short, you know, comparison between these two bags. Uh, for me, like I will be interested in getting like a Celine bag because I think over time, like the price of the bag didn't really increase that much compared to the Chanel. I just filmed a video a couple of weeks ago, like about the crazy Chanel price increase. So I would say like, it's not too late for you to get your hands on like a Celine handbag versus for Chanel, I feel like their retail price is already really crazy at this point. 
um, and I think the leather is durable like looking at my friend's bag for like almost like more than five years old it's still in really good it's in pristine condition I would say and um, I don't really see too much wear and tear and the the weight of the bag is just like really nice because I don't really feel you know any burden carrying it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and um, please leave in the comment section down below if you have any questions and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!